Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Now the NPCs are helping them again? Oh, well, did you see that door fly? <laughs> I hit him while he was trying to get out. Oh, and he's stuck like this. Oh my god, this is what I was worrying about. This is why I saved one team life. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video of playing GTA Online and it is time to check out the latest update, the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. We are here to see if it is a good enough mission to make money. I'm currently doing the Cayo Perico heist over and over again. Here's Vincent, we're talking about the heist. Since then I unwillingly retired from my former post, head of security. Yeah, 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 I know, uh, I know what you're gonna say. So I'm doing the Cayo Perico heist over and over again to make uh, a lot of money. And if we do this heist and we like it and if it is good content and if we can make a lot of money with it in a very short period of time, then uh, it is a good enough mission to grind. And uh, hopefully it can replace Cayo Perico heist so that uh, we can have another thing that we can play while grinding. And having fun so let's start the mission and see how it goes we have to go to the V on the map more alphabets appearing on the map every day with every update we are eventually gonna have every letter I don't have uh, very high expectations from this update but let's see how it goes okay let's start okay so it's already a mission I always like these missions because it's a great opportunity to purchase all ammo otherwise you have to go to the gun shop and uh, buy everything one by one let's play when your bar is going there's inside. Vincent now with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law can I skip this no I cannot I have to watch it but I can skip it for you. How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop? Very conspicuously for ten years now. Hey, is that Jimmy? That's city. Jimmy. Yo, he hasn't Patrick aged a Murphy. day a since copy. 2013. And also, he works for me in the arcade, right? <laughs> can I count you in? You That's absolutely it. can. Now on to the first order of business: acquire some funds. So long story short, Vincent is not being treated very nicely by the LSPD and he wants to do some stuff with the clucking bell thing. Hey, where is my oppressor? I cannot call in my oppressor or any other personal vehicle. There are some illegal operations that are running in some different places. We have to go there and uh, take out the stuff. We can keep everything we get, but we have to disrupt the operations and... Uh, Vincent can help us get all the information that we need. Okay, I should have waited outside before starting this. Vincent has said that uh, he will give me access to all the information that we need. All the details, all the records, so yeah, that's a good thing. And he really just wants to get back at the department. He doesn't really want any share of the pie. Oh, I have to enter this building, but uh, it's a good idea to eliminate all these people before I enter. Oh, wait, no. Bad manners. Okay. Oh, so this is the money laundering place, and they are doing the money laundering in a laundry machine. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm getting some money from uh, this thing as well. Oh, it's a setup cash. So I think I'm not gonna get this cash. I need this for the setup. Business A is done. No. Now let's go to business B. Oh no. He announced that I was dead before he killed me. That's 
Very kind of him. Okay, I have the cash that I dropped there. So I guess I can uh, go to the next business, move on. This is why they didn't want me to use the Oppressor Mark II. Because then I can just uh, fly across the town and ignore all these cars that are chasing me. They got a heads up, huh? Oh, I had a passenger all this time. Oh, I forgot about uh, the staff inside. So this one has three machines. Oh, sorry. And we are good to go. So while you're hard at work, allow me to explain some of the background to our endeavor. Hell arrived at San Andreas. I now have to deliver this cash to Vincent's lockup. Okay, that is just unfair, man. You got all these NPCs working against me. I not only stole their cash, I also stole their car. Now I have to go to this uh, cash place. I also have to worry about the fact that I only have zero team lives. I only had one and I used it. And I am still being chased by these lunatics. But uh, this car has much better handling as compared to the previous one. Did I drop this? Did I drop this when I was killed? Oh no. One mission done. A few more to go. Let's see how many more. I also got an award called Slush Fund, which was the name of the mission. Oh no, the palace, the nightclub is at Call capacity. That's I'm not good news. $5,000 on my head. For stealing a car that I only needed to travel a couple of blocks. Alright, I got some money out of the nightclub safe and I also kicked out a person who was uh, killing the vibe. And now I'm going to Winston again to start the second mission and this time I'm taking this car with me, the Pariah, which is one of the best cars in the game hoping that uh, I will be allowed to use this car during the mission because they definitely don't allow me to use the Oppressor Mark II. I have forgotten how to drive a normal vehicle. If the vehicle doesn't fly, I have no idea how to handle it. I have to come back here every time I have to start the mission. I don't see the marker. Where's the marker? Is there a cooldown period? What's happening? Oh no. I didn't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know Vincent. Don't do this to me. Lester, Lester. I need your help, brother. What service are you looking for? Okay, okay. I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. Always there to help. The creepy Uncle Lester. Come on, there is still no sign of Vincent. Still no marker. How do I do this? Let me call him. Okay, I have no clue what to do here and I'm punching the air again. Let me change the session and hopefully things will get better. No, nope, still no sign of Vincent. I think uh, it is uh, the... Okay, he was meant to call me. That was a lucrative effort. Thank you, Vincent. All right, let's discuss a potential way into this place. So the second one is this. Let's see what we got. I used up fifteen thousand dollars worth of uh, ammo in the last mission. I didn't do anything else. Okay, whatever. Breaking and entering. Not very creative with the names. Sending go to the terabyte or laptop so i can go to either of those two things i have to go to both of them actually so i will go to the terabyte first i've never been in another person's terabyte in my life before thankfully i get to use my own car this time 
Pariah is one of the quickest and one of the best handling cars in the game, I think. He sent me an image of the terabyte. I don't need an image of the terabyte, man. I know what a terabyte looks like. I have to search this area for the terabyte. And I hate searching the area. I hate that. There's a bridge. There are a few roads, a few properties. Am I supposed to look everywhere? Oh, I can search for aerial drones to help locate the terabyte. So I have to look out for drones. Now I should be looking in the sky. I did hear something here. Yep, I do hear something that that sounds like a drone. Also, this is the terabyte. But but I think I do have to take out these drones. Or maybe not. Let's see. Oh, yes, I have to destroy the drones. And I think they can also attack me. One down. Two down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. A few more. Oh my god. No! Am I hitting? Yes, I am. Without aiming. Oh my god, how many of these are there in total? Just stop that! Is that all? all right. Once the drones are down, the terabyte should be accessible. Oh, this is a nice gun. I got a gun. Okay, I have uh, stolen the hacking you device. The device. Good. Now you should have no issue requisitioning a train. For that matter. Oh, I have to get a train. I have to steal a train. He's at train. I first have to go to the laptop. They sent me an image of the clock and bell employee. Okay, black shirt. I'm coming to get ya. I can just park here. And once again I have to locate someone. I hate this game. Not the entire game, just the locating part. And searching the area part. Oh, I can also uh, drink a cola and replenish my health. Also, it gives me a bit of a natural appeal. I'm just a regular guy drinking soda. I'm looking for a clock and bell employee. Hey, he's wearing a black shirt. No, that's not it. Yeah, I think this is the guy. Yeah, he is the guy. I think he is the guy. Or maybe not, because I'm not... Uh... Oh, that must be the guy. Everyone is wearing black shirts today. Yep, this is the guy and this is his laptop. I'm taking it. Oh, he noticed me. Do I have to kill him? No, I don't have to. That's great. That's a great thing about having a buddy in LSPD. He is preventing the LSPD from showing up. What a great guy, Vincent. We are going to the cartel's compound. So another compound here. They will not hesitate to shoot on sight. Okay, Take these guys will not hesitate to shoot on sight, unlike other guys who just offered me coffee when I reached their location. Oh, there are a lot more than I thought. Who shot him? I didn't shoot him. That is actually true, I have nowhere to go. I can eat sna oh oh no 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 I was just gonna eat snacks man come on I I, I need to hide I need a vehicle oh did you see that door fly <laughs> did you see that door fly that was awesome I think this is the train that we are stealing.
We'll drop the train key. Yep, got the key. Got the keys? Functions on the hacking device to change the signals as you approach them. You need to keep that What hacking device? I don't have a hacking device. Okay. E to hack the signal. Oh, so I have to hack the signal before I reach a new location and all I have to do is press E, but I have to wait for the cooldown period. I need some snacks. These people are increasing in numbers. I'm, I'm slowing down. What's happening? Oh my god, I didn't hack in time. I thought this car was slowing me down. Alright, the train is in the park. I mean, we have parked the train in our backyard, whatever. It keeps reminding me that I have a $5,000 bounty set on my head. The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage. That Your was quick. This time I don't have to wait for the mission marker to reappear because uh, Vincent has called me in time. Okay, the third mission begins. It doesn't matter. Let's go with weapons. Let's go in the chronological order. This time I used up only $540 worth of ammo, so I don't know how this works. Concealed weapons. I didn't get an award for the second mission, I believe. Rockstar needs to introduce turn signals in GTA 6. This seems like a little bit uh, difficult mission. They will be understandably furious. I advise you to not reduce your speed. Oh my god, they killed me. Only had one life. I have collected some equipment. Should have an ample supply of weapons and gear. We have a lot of people here fighting for them. All right, we have collected everything. We have a couple more targets. I don't know if we have to go there. First we have to go to the lockup. I think the A and B markers have not completely uh, gone away, so it means that I eventually will have to go to those targets as well. Otherwise they would have disappeared. But why would I need so many weapons? I just need uh, one type of weapons. I'm nearing the location, maybe that's why the enemies have given up on me. They have a great opportunity to figure out who is behind all this, but uh, they're lazy. Looks like we got enough to hit the factory. If you want more, take it. Just send me a text when you're ready to confirm the gear you want to use. Oh, I have to text, Vincent. I have no idea what I'm doing right here. Received. I'll stash the others in case you change your mind on the day. What? Gear is check. Oh my god, what is this? Confirm? Okay. Dependable as usual. Okay, I don't have to go to the other locations because I've confirmed that this is what I'm gonna use. I think that's what it means. Uh, but I have no idea what type of gears, uh, what type of weapons I've stolen and what type of gear I've stolen. So let's see what happens. We'll see when the time comes. That is a very nice sign. Uh, we have to move on to the next mission, which is... So under next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. Okay, these are the three potential sure getaway vehicles. I got a message as well from Vincent. Attack, but we need something that can't be traced to us. 
I've acquired three suitable options for a getaway car. Okay, I have uh, no idea which vehicle is which in this image, but I'm gonna go with target B because the C has a chopper in it. Okay, oh, they also have a chopper, so it didn't make a difference. I'm thinking about uh, attacking the chopper first. There you go, the chopper is down. Oh no. Oh my god. How many of these vehicles are there? I have to run. I have to run. No. Okay, I have to be extra careful now because I only had one life. Hi there. There's one more guy. Oh, look at this guy. I hit him while he was trying to get out. Oh, and he's stuck like this. He's stuck in this position like he's trying to get out. Oh, hey, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dying again. Let me hide here and uh, get some snacks. And some armor. Strategic withdrawal! Strategic withdrawal? What are you talking about, man? Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I'm getting a feeling that this is a more than a one person job. Okay, now I'm inside their property. And I don't see the vehicle that he was talking about. Oh, maybe this is the vehicle. Now, I don't know if this is a bulletproof vehicle. Otherwise, I can just get in and uh, leave. Oh, this looks like an electric vehicle. Isn't making any noise. Okay, how do I leave? Oh, I have to move those vehicles away, man. Come on. Really don't want to do that. Oh, I can just blow them up. Oh, he's hitting me. He's hitting me. Sticky bomb should do. Yeah? No? Oh my god! Why is this trash can immovable? Oh, I have to use that ramp thingy. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now I'm going away. Running away, but I've, I'm moving in the wrong direction. I have to turn around. Okay. We are on the road. Let's see how far away this uh, place is. Eh, it's in Polito Bay area. But this vehicle is Excellent definitely choice. quick. Okay, got some snacks. But lost my way. I'm moving in the wrong direction again. Why do I have so many pistols, man? Okay, I don't think they're following me anymore. Nope, they are. Why not? Absolutely. Oh no! Come on, man! Oh my god! This mission is just exceptionally difficult. Why? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Now the NPCs are helping them again? Oh, the driver is still not dead. Oh my god. Okay, I have to kill the driver. But if I focus on killing, then I cannot focus on driving. 
It's just a car, man. Let it go. It's just a car, man. The thing is, if I have to steal a car that doesn't belong to me, that belongs to someone else, why am I stealing a car from a highly secret... Oh, I have to repair the vehicle at the mod shop. What miracle did you want me to perform? The thing is, if I'm stealing this Vico so that it doesn't get traced back to me, why can't I just take it from someone on the road? I've stolen so many Vicos in my life. Why do I have to steal it from such a powerful gang? Those are the wheels you want to roll with on a big day. Just send me a message with the vehicle information. Yep, this is what I'm going to roll with, I think. But I also want to see if there are any like other vehicles like Kuruma or something like that. But I don't want to waste time. If I could steal a Kuruma it would be amazing because it's uh, bulletproof. But you know what? I've already done so much hard work I have to go back to the Vincent location and start the next mission. But first I have to confirm the getaway vehicle. Getaway car secure. Well done. I'm visiting the Kasetka submarine just for a quick trip because I need to fill up my snacks. I've used too many snacks today. And even though I could go to the office, but I've heard that uh, you get more supplies here. All right, all done. Let's move to the next mission. I was just here to buy the ammo, no, body armor, whatever. And my plane crashed outside and I was blamed for that and he killed me, wow. Okay, it's still closed, man, I need some body armor. Okay, you know what, I don't care, I don't need more body armor, I'm just gonna start the next mission. I'm taking this uh, Lamborghini looking vehicle, there we go. I'm sorry. Oh no! It's right outside the police station, so bad things just always happen here. I have to be extra careful, man. Come on. I have to give another call to Lester. Now let's start again. Hey, so I understand that your MO is up to you, but there are steps you can take to ensure the element of surprise is on your side. All right, Disorganized Crime is the name of the next mission. I used up $2,300 worth of uh, ammo last time. Let's start. All right, we have a hacking device. Okay, we have multiple vans to catch. Let's do that. Oh, I can just... Hack the GPS by this just staying in uh, close proximity. Wow. Oh no. I also have to kill these guys. No. I can now go to the next van. But there is something I need to do. I thought I could just move away. That is a horrible place to die, the strip club. We got the clock and bell overalls. And the next van is right here. No, let me stay in close proximity. And what do I get here? Oh, I just hacked it for no reason. I don't have to get anything from here. Don't I mean, I know I still had to hack it, but I didn't get anything from this one. Let's go to the garage. That's what I got from that van. We got the garage location. Okay, garage. Here I come. I usually prefer the all guns blazing method because I cannot 
maintain my stealth for a very long time. Okay, we have a drill that we can grab to do something. What, what are we doing? Oh, am I caught? Let's sabotage this delivery truck. Another one. I really don't think that I can do all of these without uh, getting noticed. But let's try to maintain the stealth for as long as possible. A key card must be around there somewhere. Okay, now I have to drill the lockers to find a key card. And to reach the lockers, I have to kill a few guards, I think. Okay, I got caught, man. I just all this happens to me. It's the only way to stop the cartel from knowing you're coming. I have to take out everybody, otherwise my cover would be blown. I think it's already blown. Who else? Who else saw me? This mini map needs to be larger. Oh no! Don't load the gun in the middle, man. Come on. This is why we stock the snacks. I think we have one more room where we have hey, some witnesses. Sounds like one of the guards informed the factory. They know you're coming. All right, let's drill the lockers to find the key cards because uh, I've basically killed everybody. Okay, the cartel has already been alerted. Wiping the CCTV footage will not have an effect on the Cluckin Battle farm raid. So this is very unfortunate. But uh, I knew that. I knew it's gonna happen. I'm never able to maintain stealth. The thing is, I don't know where the lockers are. I thought these were the lockers, that's why I killed this guy, and maybe that's why I was caught. Let's see where the real lockers are. Are these the lockers? I did take something from the first locker, so what was that? What are you taking, man? Just look for the key card. That's someone's lunch, maybe, that you're stealing. Oh, I did find the key card. We hit the factory, that's gonna simplify things. Now the cartel are all to us. We need to move fast. But can I buy a soda for one dollar before I leave? So I did not take out the witnesses in time and now they're gonna be on high alert. I don't care. Yeah, you wanna fight? Let's fight, man. Let's fight. Okay, how long do I have to keep running from them? They're not like police that I can, you know, just escape. Alright, it's done. Okay, so that mission went horribly. My cover was blown. Uh, but you know what? I don't care. This mission is gonna be very hard for me anyway because I just have no idea how to remain stealthy. He just keeps reminding me that the cartel will be ready for me. I got an award! Best laid plans. I don't think this was the best plan. Alright, let's go to Vincent and start the final mission. I've decided to use the Pariah again because it is a better car. Hey, Vincent calls. It's my pleasure to inform you that we have officially completed all necessary preparations. Okay, thank you. Now we can start the finale, scene of the crime. Did not tell me to purchase any more ammo this time, so let's start. 
there you go, starting the finale for the first time. After deciphering some mediocre code words, it sounds like they're expecting a robbery. I suggest you elegantly fuck their shit up regardless. Okay, I'm not too worried about the fact that they already know about me. Because I'm damn sure that I would have alerted them anyway. So I don't care. Alright, already taking a lot of damage. Another door opened. Just have to eliminate a few people. And then I can start. There's a guy. Okay, I can get some health boost here. There you go, I have full health again. Playing a mission for the first time is definitely a refreshing feeling in GD Online because the stuff here is just so repetitive. All the other missions are just so repetitive. Just playing a new mission where I don't know what's coming next is just a great feeling. Oh no 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 that was horrible not great from me should have been a little more aware I've lost almost half my health again I have to eliminate just a lot of people maybe stealth would have been a better way to do this mission but no I, I'm sure that I'm not good at that it's just so difficult for me to Maintain the stealth. Another guy appeared. Get down. Get down. Let's insert the key card. You're dead. And let's hide away again because. I don't know what's gonna happen. Alright, we are in and we are already under attack. The storage area should be where they keep their product. Is that all? I have to open this crate. Oh, I don't have the equipment. What equipment? Oh, there's the equipment, the crowbar. Nope, he's stuck. Come on, no! No, no, no! Turn around, please don't... Just... Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm just searching. I thought every crate had coke in it, but no. I'm just searching. There you go, we got some product. A little more. And that's it. Didn't have to check the final box because we can leave now. Oh, they just keep coming. Oh, these things move so good, man. These plastic curtains type of things have very good mechanics. The military grade equipment is really good. It is usually very easy to take me out. It only takes a couple of bullets. Oops, oops. Did I speak too soon? Did he just appear out of nowhere? What was that? I think we have to go to a different storage area. I was moving in the wrong direction. And now I have to be... This was the door. Oh, I can get some snacks there. Okay, just have to be a little bit careful here. Oh. Oh, he... 
He's not gonna attack me, but I think I do have to eliminate him. Why did they stand up after getting a shot into their skull? Okay, the more traditional method of uh, taking the coke. This coke loot bar is not filling up very quickly. Hopefully this one will fill it up. Fill up my bag. And yes it did. It did fill up my bag. Now we can leave. And I have managed to save the one team life because I think... Oh my god! This is what I was worrying about. This is why I saved one team life. He spawned behind me. Oh no, 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 you cannot do that, buddy. I already killed you all. I need a place to hide. I'm in trouble, I need some snacks, I hope I have some. Oh no, 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 no. If Pavel was managing this project, he would have reminded me and made me aware that a new batch of armed guards has arrived. And now these wooden boxes are also taking damage. Now I have to go to the office. Is that the office? Nope. I had a suspicion that I would have to We're go past these. To the office. There should be a key nearby if you need to catch Because your why else would they make this area if I don't have to go here? Oh, there are some the keys. We have the office key. Can I hack the computer? No, I don't need to. Where is the office? Is this the office? The place that has a big red sign saying office and I didn't need the key because I could have just shot the glass. Shithead. Okay, someone just spawned here. Look, I can break the door as well. Let's start hacking. I hope no one interrupts me during the hacking. There could be multiple points, so keep walking till you found them. Oh. Hacking device, new technology, man. Always great to see. Oh, so something is behind this wall. And I'm not using my weapons right now, so hopefully no one attacks me. Oh, I think this is the thing. This is the thing. Yeah, I found it. No, <laughs> that was not it. Oh, it's just one of three. I got a feeling that I will have to walk through this entire place a few times. Yes? Oh, I just have to go near these computers. I hope I don't have to go back. Okay, I see another set of computers. This is it. Okay, I have three of three. Okay, now I can go back to the office and do the hacking thing again. The code to the safe should be on the hacking device. Oh, it's on the hacking device. How do I... Oh, 75, 27, 24. 75, 27, 24. There you go, just like stealing the bearer bonds. Target successfully 
quiet. You're done. Now I have to leave. I have a lot of cops on me. Okay, now I'm scared. Because a lot of cops are on me. And I've done most of the hard work. I don't want to do all of this again. So I'm scared. I'm very scared. No! Just stay away, man. I'm already very scared. Oh, I can leave through the rear door. I don't have to go back. I hear the choppers. It doesn't sound great. They're gonna be waiting for me right outside. This is where the stealth would have been amazing. There goes nothing. Oh no. Oh my god. Let me get some snacks. I'm gonna need all of it. And also my snacks are working a lot slowly. Maybe I kind of have a little more health than I usually do. So a lot of snacks only give me a little bit of health. Okay. No, just... I don't even remember where the garage is. Oh, it's in that direction. Should I just run? Maybe I should. No, I shouldn't have run. No. The answer is no. Oh my god, this is not a one-person job. Well, I can take out the chopper pilot, I think. No, I cannot. Where's my other gun that I had? MG, there you go. Please don't fall on me. Thank you. I just see these dots on the map and I don't see anybody anywhere. Oh, I have to go through this. I will not have a place to hide. Okay, I have reached my vehicle, Solid and it's going to be a long journey, I suppose. Let me just uh, use up all the snacks that I have remaining. Silent car. I'm going to take the... I'm not going to take the road, I'm going to use the railway tracks. Let me see how far away this is. Oh, this is very far away in the city. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be difficult. And I don't think I can lose the cops and they are spawning on the road. So I think I am benefiting from uh, the railroad track. But I don't know how long it's gonna take me because of the tracks. But I hope this uh, track does go to the city. I think all tracks do. But it would be a very good skill to have, to have all the knowledge of these uh, tracks, railway tracks. But it is also very easy to go off course and it is... Oh my god. I thought he was right next to me, but no. Should I go on the road? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the road. I'll try to stay on the tracks for as long as possible. And look at that, I'm not losing the cops. And look at that, I'm not losing the cops, I've driven so much. Okay, the distance seems to be increasing now, so I'm, I'm gonna have to leave the tracks. No, it did go down. Okay, this is a, this is a bit of a confusion here. I have to choose one of these two. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. It stays uh, along the highway. No cash and nobody to blame. The less of all part of me can't help but smile at the thought of them losing their Okay, now the cops are still on me. You, but the cartel has given up. Okay, am I just moving in a completely opposite direction? Oh, yes, I am. I have to now take the highway. 
unfortunately. Uh oh, uh oh, wrong timing, bad timing. Can I call Lester? I always try to call Lester whenever cops are trying to chase me. Hey, how can I help? No, I'll be keeping my eye on help. you. Goodbye. So I have to maintain a safe distance. Oh, there you go. I have evaded the cops. And you can see them. They're giving up. They're going back. So is that all? Is that it? I've done it? And I still have my team life? Oh man, I hope there are no more surprises. But wow. I have done it. I don't know how much payout I will get. But this is definitely a great feeling, a very satisfactory feeling of completing the heist one go. Not the heist, whatever it's called. Completing it in one go and uh, without losing the solitary life that I get. My main goal was to find out if this mission is good enough to grind just like Kayo Perico because you know GTA Online is all about grinding. And um, it is a little more exciting than the Dr. Dre missions. When the Dr. Dre missions came out, I only completed them twice and then never looked back. I mean, never looked at them again. There you go. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. Now to the vital matter of payment. Oh, it's the same guy who hands over the check when you do the Kayapuriko heist? No? Maybe someone else? But it looks like him. Now remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. Just got these babies in. Fresh off the line. Until next time. Unless this associate. Okay, new vehicles are also here. New LSPD cars. So he's uh, promoting the car. Asking me to buy one. But I get $500,000, which is not a lot. I did a lot more work. So the grinding thing is over. The question about whether or not this can be another mission that I can grind is over. I cannot grind it, but when I'm bored from doing Cayo Perico over and over again, I can come back to this. And I am getting paid in cash. If I deposit all the money, I have 8.5 million dollars, 8.6. So not a lot of money, just a lot of fun. It's exciting. It feels like I've accomplished something. Uh, but you know what? This game is all about grinding. Hello. I wanted to confirm that your compensation is in your account. Okay, he's telling me that uh, I can do it again uh, soon. But the fact of the matter is that I need to make more money to stay in the game because I need to make more money so that I can do more things and buy more things. And that can only happen if I focus on my businesses and the Cayo Perico heist. So this is it for today's video. Maybe I will play this mission again, maybe not. And I got an award for completing the mission. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Another award called Cockfight. So yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.